Welcome to Club 9. My name is Ola Harry and uh, the are waiting trading view training you're waiting for is here again. So we have the old version of trading view, but now trading view has done a lot of updates on their app and we need to update and bring the new uh, interface, new settings, new um um you know use and all that. So I believe that this will go a long way in helping you to skyrocket your skill when it comes to using trading view on your mobile phone also on your desktop screen okay now from your desktop screen is actually much more easier right compared to your mobile phone now most of the time if most uh, professional traders want to do analysis they like to use their laptop but i can tell you that if you're very good with your phone and your phone has a very good screen very good um speed you can do anything with it i can tell you you probably don't even need your laptop okay so i indulge you to just follow closely and um, let's go right in and guys don't forget um subscribe to my channel like this video and also make sure you turn on the bell so that whenever um i drop new videos you will be first to be notified okay so let's get right in and let's see what we're going to um, learn on this trading view now here we're going to um, uh, introduction how to download the app build your own coin list setting and subscription understanding candlesticks charts navigation and tools using indicator and demo trading and these are the basic things you need to know about trading view and i can assure you that you will so much enjoy this lesson so let's go right inside so before you do that i believe that this is probably um, going to be um, the, um for even beginners can relate with all these things so come to your app store or your play store anyone you're using so type trading view on your search okay so search for it yeah so this is it can you see the symbol so don't miss it please guys yeah that's it okay then because i already have the app on my phone then you see this open but if you don't have this app on your phone you will see download okay so just download it right away make sure you have space on your phone for this um app to work okay for this app to download on your phone make sure you have enough space so when you click you can see everything so here i probably don't need to um uninstall i just need to open that's it so this is trading view currently i'm not logged in into any account i'm probably going to log in so that you guys can see how it really works but when you download um your app what are you supposed to do first of all you're supposed to come to your menu at the lower tab menu then sign in okay you can sign in with your google account it's very easy very straightforward just click on sign in then you will be able to create an account now now what i want to explain to you now is that i'm not going to sign in now okay but well, if you if you are new to trading view if you sign in you're going, you're going to see this interface so i want to teach you how to set your own interface because it's very very important and that um, is where we have building your coin so we are here now so i've talked about the introduction that we have already downloaded the app then the next one is build your own coin list and that's where we are now okay so how do you build your coin list now currently what we have here these are not the instrument you want to trade okay and don't forget i said make sure that you have logged in before you do this so that the settings will be on your account the reason why I'm doing this now without signing in is because my account already have everything set everything is ready okay but for the sake of the new members i want you guys to see that you can actually to to show you how to set your own coin list okay so just slide to the left delete okay now you see that now that it's telling me to sign in okay so that it can save that settings but 
I'm not going to sign in now, but I'm going to show you. So here, just slide, delete, slide, delete, slide, delete, slide, delete. Okay, just do that to all everything. Slide, just keep sliding and deleting. Can you see it? Slide to the left, delete, delete, delete. Okay, then also delete all this, delete everything. Okay, delete this as well because this is USD. We want, we need USDT. Okay, yeah. So this is what we need. We need USD this one. So you're also going to remove Ethereum as well. Remove so the only thing you will have will now be this BTC USDT. This is the only one that will be on your list because you can see that already the category here is called crypto. You see. That's the category that we have there. So that's the only one that will remain in. Even this index to delete it. This one stock delete it. Futures delete it. Forex delete it. So you only have the category you will have is crypto. Then you will now only have BTC USDT. Okay. So just leave that the way it is. Yeah. Now after that. So let me log in. And you will see how I will add more um, coins to my list. Okay, I'm going to log into my account. So before I do that, yeah, so even from here, you can easily remove all these things. Can you see this is another way of removing them? Just click on cancel, 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 cancel. So if I click on this now, it will tell me to log in. So, and that's not what I want to do. So I believe that by now you already understand how to build your own list. So let's go back. Now here, look at this case. You see watch lists. You also see add lists. So now you can build different categories. Like you can have forex category. You can have crypto category you can have you know maybe indices category so so you don't add everything on one box you can put everything in different categories so just click on this add, add to list so but i still need to log in but when i log in my account i will probably show you what how to create it okay yeah so now i'm in my account as you can see so on my own um red list can you see this i'll show you how to do that so my own red list um, i have btc ethereum usdt dominance um, dollar index xrp ada and rose okay these are the what this is what i have on my list so let me show you how you're going to build yours as well so here you can see we have bitcoin list can you see that? You know, that's what I told you the other time. We have Forex. We have Futures. We have General lists. Okay, we have non, uh, not with BTC. Then we have Stock lists. You see that? Then we also have Add lists. You see? So that's what I was telling you here. That you can add another list. But because I already add a, 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 a lot of lists, I probably don't need to create more. Okay? So on your own end, you can create, just click on Add list. Okay? Then you cannot give it a name. Okay, you can give it a name. Then one of my own name is you can see I have Bitcoin list. You can see it. I also have Forex list. But this Bitcoin list, how do I now look? There's another list here. That list is by default. This list. Okay. The red tag is by default. So after you build your list. Now here now you can see I have a long list, very long, but I probably don't want to work with everything at once, right? So I will just hold down, hold down this, and you can see this list here. You can see the red list, you can see the blue. But before you can use other tags, you have to be subscribed. You have to subscribe to um, Trading View. The only one you can use for now is the red tag okay so you can see that after i i hold down on this bnb you can do other things 
you can delete you can open the charts you can see symbol information and then um, add symbol below and also add symbol above that if you want to add another instrument on that list that's what these two are meant for yep so that's how it works so if i click on red this red tag it will come here it will join this list join this list can you see that it will join that list now let me click on it okay so can you see it we don't have bnb here you see that we don't have bnb so that's how it works so click on bnb and you can do your analysis very 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 simple okay so before we go into um yeah i believe that by now you can now build your list now if you have a long list okay i'm going to tell you i'm going to teach you another one how you can build your list very simple now i have bitcoin list okay i have futures you know i trade futures on um binance and bybit bybit is our official exchange okay now how do you build this list yeah so very simple then i will come to my bybit on since i'm using bybit to trade most of my coins then i'll come to market on the lower tab i'll click on market i will i will come to derivatives here you see that i don't know the upper tab there go to derivatives and you see all these lists so these are all the lists you will add all these lists you add them one after the other can you see it it's a long list but take your time to add everything is very very simple okay can you see it is a long list but take your time to add everything that's just the way it works okay so let's say one had gala so here so i will click on search this search box at the top here you see that click on that that search box so that's how you had You now say you now say G A L A U S D T. Okay, then you now have to put P in front that perpetual perpetual trading contract. P that's all so that it will bring the um the trade from by bit directly. So this is it. Look at it here. So we have we, uh, you know, when you when you when you type Gala USDT P. Other it's going to bring out different exchanges that list gala. This is it. So this is by bit, by bit, and this is gala here. Okay, this is gala here. Yes. So this is what you need. If it's on, if you're using Binance, you can also use Binance. This is Binance here. Binance is first on the list. Then this is gala for Binance. So depending on the exchange you are using, but since I am using Bybit, I'm going to use, I'm going to um, click on this. And then I'll click on Bybit. Okay. Now, after I've already add this on my list, that on my futures, you can see it, futures, all the coins I'm trading on futures. If I had it, then what I need to do is that I want to trade this coin. Then I'll tag it on red. I'll tag it red see i'll hold down just hold down on it then click on red tag so now you can see that it already has a red tag you can see that xiop also has a red tag btc also has a red tag right then i'll come to my red tag here but i can only add red i can add other colors because this particular account does not have subscription okay that's the reason if you subscribe you'll be allowed to use other functions so here you can see this is how i can build my own list you know it's not necessarily you have to trade all the coins you understand you just have to bring out what you really want to trade okay now after you have already added all these lists you see all these long lists it's going to look like this on your trading view let me come to features can you see it i have a long list can you see the long list you see long list now there's a bit of a thing that will help really help you here here if you come to this arrow this 
arrow. Okay? Shuffle. Click on it. You can shuffle change by sort by change. This guy here. You see? Sort by change. That is what you need. So it will help you filter top gainers, top losers. You see? So for today, let's know the top gainers. Click on it. Can you see it? Top gainers for today is Solana, um, Zale, IMX, other, you know, you can see it has already arranged them as they make gains for that particular day. So you can click on it again. Do the same thing again. It will show you top losers. So top loser for today is Lido, CVC, BTC, 1000, E. X E C, you know, it's going to arrange it to you according to the way they are on um, loss. Okay, just the way yours can also do that on um, with the exchange. But I think using your trading view is much more easier and very straightforward. Okay, and you can see that's how you filter your top gainers and top losers. Yes, so I believe this should help you able to build your coin list and be able to filter which. Uh, coins you want to trade is it trending coin or is it a coin that is down 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 all the way so if you know how to do your analysis then you can just go ahead in so this is how to select which coin to trade we also have a video called um selection coin selection metrics that that will also help you i believe that with that you are full fully ready so the next one on the list will be settings and suspicion okay can you see it so that's next on the list so let's go right in yeah now when it comes to settings there's nothing much like that. It's very easy and straightforward very simple app you understand so just come to chat so chat will show you the uh, last coin you open the last coin you open it will show the chat for you then the next one will be idea you can also get trading idea from other traders all over the world you can see it different trading ideas so that's for stock then you can also click here to get for um crypto so you can put your country after you input your country you can get different um, ideas from different um places all over the world okay so this is for crypto just click on it then you can get different ideas on crypto this is shiba inu this is btc you know this you know you can see different ocean different analysis from different users from different users you can see their own perspective their um, charts so when you learn the chart we are we're going to get there when you learn the chart um to probably help you to ensure that you can also understand all these things they are doing you can understand it very well but for now maybe it might look a bit um difficult but don't worry by the time we are done we are going to be able to do all these things so these are other people's idea then we come to news Okay, so on the news, it will probably show us uh, news around the world on um, different category of money on different instruments. But definitely, you know, now what we do is crypto. So we have for stock, we have for crypto, forex, indices, futures, bond, world economy. So just go to the category that we are working on, which is crypto. So on crypto, you probably see different news on crypto. It makes it easier for you to read 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 all the way okay yeah so here let's come to menu now here this is my own account then i will have settings not nothing much though so you want to keep um this app on the screen you want it to be above other apps then you click on keep on keep screen on so you click on that then uh, watch list if you want your watch list you want to show the logo you want to um, show the symbol on the screen or you want it to vibrate the my actually vibrate so that's why it's on yeah that's what you do on the watch list then your chat what you want what you want on your chat you want to hide the tab the bar or you want the picker to vibrate or you want to show the picker scroll magnificent so all these things you can just um, on it or off it and see how it operates on your chat okay very simple and straightforward push notification language um, contact information so i think those are just basic things you need to know when it comes to settings okay and if you want to subscribe just come to subscription then we have um dark 
team and white team um, you know because i always operate my phone at night so i always prefer to be on the dark team if you don't want a dark team just switch just off here then it will switch to the white screen okay so that's how it works so on the subscription you can just click on it so you can subscribe this um, on this is um in naira so seven thousand monthly or thirteen thousand nine hundred monthly or twenty seven thousand five hundred monthly for premium so these are all the settings you will get five indicator per chart two windows okay you know you can divide your chart into two but for this free subscription you can only use one screen okay then 20 server side alerts ad free so they won't put any ad on your screen um volume profile indicator customize time interval multiple enhanced word list bar replay interday bar multiple monitor multi monitor support in desktop app so these are the functions you get when you pay this particular amount of money and i think that that is also very very cool okay yeah so the next thing we want to go will be so we've done settings and subscription then understanding candlesticks yes this is also very 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 vital so this is it this guy here understanding candlesticks okay now before we dive into chart navigation and tools this area is very very vital okay in short i'm going to have a separate video that will probably explain um have like elaborate explanation but i will still do something here so let me quickly show you how candles what is how, how, do, how was, was a candle you understand so it's very important for you guys to know what a candle is and then you'll see how it is and it's very very easy so here let's come all the way to here let's create a note let's create a new note let me quickly tell you how what a candle is now candles are very very easy and candles the idea for candlesticks is just a normal candle that we know the one we always burn we always own in our houses is the same idea so here i'm going to draw a candle how the turn candle looks so it's like this okay pardon my drawing then here yeah so this is how it kind of looks so what's the label here is the body okay it's the body this is the high this is the low oh i'll explain all that this is the weak and this is um open and this is close now this is very very um let, let me uh, share more light on this if you have open at the top and you have close at the bottom it simply means is a red candle red you see that yes so then when you have when we now have this when you now have open at the bottom and you have close at the top is a green candle you can repeat this over and over for you to understand it is very very simple so let's go right let's now let me now explain how all these things was high was weak was low was all those things so let me use um, binance app to explain this yeah so here it's very easy let's come to market so it's coming up i hope it loads fast yes so this is binance so on the binance chart it explained the the candle very well that's why i i actually come to this place to le let me explain this for you guys very well so now if you let me hold down a particular candle let me hold it down can you see it so this candle i'm holding here this candle if you check the preview on the left hand side you will see the time you will see the open that's the price at which the coin actually opened the coin opened at 17,101.5 
the highest price that's the high the highest price the the coin the candle actually got to is 17,155.7 the lowest price is 17,104.6 the closing time or the uh, the, the the time the uh, when the candle actually closed based on this time frame we are on 15 minutes time frame is 17,151.8.48 as you can see so it's telling us that within this 15 minutes the 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 the, the change the change is 0.23 and see that 0.23 it added 39.6 in terms of number in terms of price okay so that's just the way it works that's how the candle is being calculated so that's how everything is let me check another candle let's see another candle yeah basically that's just what candles are and then you probably don't need to disturb so we're going, I'm going to i'm going to show you uh different types of candles the candle forms based on um price of the market so here we have buy order this is the order book so this is the base in which candles are being formed based on demand and supply okay so here we have buy orders so buy orders are being filled and sell orders are also being filled yeah and that's how candles form every minute every um, um hour every day every week months and the likes so that's exactly how it works okay so see all these orders these are the orders that made those candles to form you see this is buy order this is sell order can you see it so it's no magic candles don't just form because they are forming no they are forming based on all these prices you see all those prices are being filled all these sell are being filled so at the particular time frame if buyers are more than sellers it will show green if sellers are more than buyers it will show red it's as simple as that within that time frame okay so if we if more people bought it, um, btc within 15 minutes you'll see the, the green bar if more people sold you'll see the red bar that's all okay then that's how you get the um candle details okay candle details can you see it these are the candle details you can check candle details of any candle here so here is very descriptive that's why i have to come here but here on trading view you probably get um, less description right but you will get a lot of detail you can do your analysis and you can it has a lot of advanced features yeah compared to the um the one for the exchange here is very very elaborate and very very detailed okay so that detail actually explain the candles very well that's why i use that detail okay so it's nothing to worry about so that's just the way it is when it comes to understanding candles so basically that is how candles are formed and you can see that it's very very detailed right so you now know how green candles are formed and how red candle red candles are formed okay so here when we come here you can see understanding candles i believe that this explanation actually explain understanding candlesticks right so the next thing will be chart navigation and tools so let's go right inside yes so here you know we already understand how to build our coin list now we want to dive into the chart let's understand what is there okay now since you already have your coin list you you, you can click on this so yeah now after clicking on this you can see all these details you can see you can see that now i believe you now understand the candles so never mind my candles is showing purple and white yes you can actually change it but i'll show you i'll teach you how to change it that's not an issue so this is the interface and let's quickly learn what is here so we have here that's our coin pair we have the time frame then we have you can add i'm going to show you what's inside here i'm also going to show you what's inside these drawings and here as well those are different um settings you can make use of okay so we've done what list chat idea news and menu we've done that already 
okay so let's dive into this now look at this you know we have btc ethereum usdt you know all these lists this list that i have here when you click on the chart like this then here you can shoot on this page you can actually actually shoot can you see it you can move it there on the you know just to move to the next um coins okay so here we have btc ethereum right so if i click on btc now then the next one is ethereum look at it that's ethereum there so i don't need to go back to that watch list to go and click on ethereum i can just flip it from here so the next one will be usdt you see the next one will be dollar index that'll be the next dollar index can you see the next one will be xrp so that's how it goes on and on and on like that okay so based on all the coins you have on that particular list it will show everything so the next one is the time frame yes the time frame we also have a separate video that explain time frame because time frame determines your kind of trader either you are a scalper day trader swing trader or position trader okay but here you can switch between one minute so this is one minute that this simply means that candles are formed every one minute okay candles are formed every one minute here it shows candles are formed every three minutes they can go on and on like that so when you're not um, on the when you are learning your technical analysis then you want to know the time frame you want to watch your candles can you see it you want to know the time frames now you already know how these candles are being formed you see so everything is getting more clearer right yeah so Type in the comment section that yes, you are really enjoying these lessons and you are really understanding. And anything you don't understand, make sure that you just put it in the comment section. Let me know that yes, and maybe I need to create another video on some areas. Okay, but I believe that this um, class is actually going as planned. So here we can also have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and the likes. So we also have one hour, two hours. So this simply means every candle represents one hour. So within one hour, this is what happened. You can see it within one hour all these candles are formed and you can see the shape and all that so when we get to candle formation you will now understand the double tops the symmetrical triangle you know different um, um candle shapes you see it okay so here the next one is let's click on this plus this plus sign so here we have drawings indicators compare alerts templates so these are the things you can do based on that particular settings so but we're not we don't have indicator yet when we get to indicator you will understand how to use indicator then we have drawings you can use different tools here you can see different drawing tools here right but let's use these drawing tools on the next one so this is drawing can you see it can you see drawings yep so you can also get it here but the most the the um the main place to get it is here now on drawings we have measurements we have zoom we have eraser lock magnets drawings hide you can hide um your candles then remove so you can remove the drawings so these are the drawings here you see all these lines anything i put on my screens are drawings okay any any tools i put on my screens are drawings now when you click on remove you can also remove indicators now for free account you're only allowed to use three indicators at once okay so maybe you want to add the fourth one and it's not showing up you can just remove all the indicators then try it again it will work okay i think a lot of people actually um always fall into that issue so here you can remove all both indicator and drawings but you can do it one after the other anyone anyone that works for you okay yeah so the next thing is different tools we have trend lines we have fibonacci we have gain and fibonacci we have geometry shapes we have annotations we have patterns we have predict prediction and measurements okay yeah so these are the things that we have and um, based on your kind of trader or your trainer Will determine the kind of tools you will use yes all these tools are there and they have all valuable be based on who you are but i'm going to teach you my own favorite tools you can see them already they are already here 
My favorite tools is the trend line, horizontal line, panel channel, rectangle, position, long position, short position, then price range. Simple. I always try to make it simple. Okay? And these are the tools I use regularly. Okay? So here, look at this. Look at this. Now, if I click here, you can see all the tools, all my tools. These are all my tools. Can you see it? Can you see them? These are all my tools. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So this box is called Quick Tool. Okay. Quick, Quick Tool. So instead of me going there all the time, it's already placed on my screen. Like I'll just click on them and make use of it. You see? That's all. Okay. Yeah. So that's my quick tool. So in as much as I'm going to add them to my favorites. Can you see it? Favorites. If it's on favorite, it will be on it to join this list. Yes. And I, I can also remove it from favorite by holding on to this list. You see, remove from favorite. Can you see it? Remove from favorite. That's it. Okay. So that's how you remove. And how do you put on favorite? So let's assume I want to use this ray. This guy here, I want to use it. I'll just click. I will hold down. I will hold down on it. Then I'll now add to favorite. Add to favorite. So it has been added now. Can you see Ray? If I come here, Ray has been added. Look at it here. Ray has been added to my list. Okay. So how do I remove it? I can also remove it by doing this. I'll come here and hold down here. Remove from favorites. That's all. Very simple okay so now all these tools how are they used what are they used for now if you want to draw a line now let, let's use this quick tool now let's use this quick tool we want to put an horizontal line just like as you can see all these white lines on my screen can you see it i can add another one here can you see so the color for this particular horizontal line is red i can change the color it has properties every tool has its own properties so i can change it to white i can change it to yellow okay yellow you see see the way it's changing then i can make it thicker so pixel two three or make it four can you see that it's not very thick it's thicker than others right so that's how you then you can make you can also change it dash line can you see you can make it dotted you can also make it line but i this is what i, I use line i don't use dotted okay yeah so go back to one pixel you can delete and you can the other properties but these are the major ones you need okay yeah these are the major ones you need and if you want to delete it just remove just delete press delete and it's off okay yeah we also have price the winnest one is price range which is this I want to measure from one horizontal to the other from here now you know uh, this is another area that a lot of people get issue tap drag tap you see now this particular um price range that's the name okay this price range this is the properties can you see it this is my quick tool so I don't want it to be too cumbersome. I wanted you guys to understand. That's why I'm showing you this. And I'm showing you this. So let me remove this. Yep. Now you see this guy. Let me now show you how to place it again. Delete. I will click on price range. You can see that you can see a cross dotted blue line on my screen. You see the way I'm moving it. I've not dropped the tool until where do i want to drop it i will keep moving it till i will know okay i want to drop it somewhere here you see when i when i now spot where i want to drop it you now tap your screen on your desktop is very very easy tap your screen you see it has dropped but now you have to drag i'll now drag drag you see so how many percent do you want to drag it to can you see it you can see you can drag down you can drag up down up down 
up so anyone you want very very easy so when you now go okay i want to drag to this next horizontal line you now tap again tap pam you see i've dropped it that's it and this price range is still movable it's not static so i will just drag here can you see it can you see it so this navigation is actually a big problem to a lot of uh, new traders but i want you guys to be able to understand this very well if you take your time you would you will so if you understand it let me know in the comment section so that i can do more okay so you can see you can drag it anywhere you want and you can see those two round circles well, what was the function you can actually extend uh, you can extend it to the next one you see yes very easy you can go all the way all the way all the way can you see it down so when you go down it shows minus when you go up it shows plus okay that is how to use it very easy and this is the same model that works for others as well right so we move let's remove then let's have our rectangle you see that's what i wanted to stay then drag you see so i use this if i want to make reference to a particular area yes because when you are switching between time frames it's always very difficult let's assume now you are we are on four hours time frame for each okay now on four h i want to spot i want to spot this area on the lower time frame yes you see so this is how i need to spot it so the way it, if it shows like this select it shows that the tool is being highlighted okay so here looking at this this guy here now okay if i want to spot that area on the lower time frame i will probably be looking for you know how do i go about this and the likes so what will help me is that i will use this rectangular um, shape to spot it i'll now go to the lower time frame let's say 15 minutes 15 minutes now look you see that it's going to be very different on the on the lower time frame let's see yeah let's look for it yeah can you see you see that on the lower time see how it looks on the lower time frame so it helped me to spot that area from the bigger time frame to the lower time you know i can't i will probably because on the lower time frame what it will show you on the lower time frame will be very different for what it's going to show you on the higher time frame that's the reason so i already spotted on the higher time frame so i want to know what is going on on the lower time frame okay so i will now zoom i will now check so now i can remove it since i now know that okay this is where that arena this is it on the lower time frame so i will zoom and check maybe i want to check the candles the movement what's going on here and the likes okay so that's exactly how to make it up. very very simple very very simple that's it so that's for the tool then we have another wonderful tool position right so if you want to take a trade you've done your, anal your analysis so this is this is buy this is sell okay so let's see how it works select it so here let's assume i want to go long for those who are trading futures you see i can you can drag that area there drag it to where you want to take profit then where do you want your stop loss stop loss should be somewhere here so look at it okay i hope you can see it clearly yeah so we have the green area we also have the red area so this is stop loss and this is what take profits yes so this line this place this green area is your take profit and this red area is your stop loss okay but all this region are profit region all this region are loss region so if you're on negative if the if the, the candle reverse like this it will be around the um loss region okay so that's how 
the long position work works so you are looking at the green the green is the profit area so let's look at the other one then we have short position okay okay let me remove that already hold on let me remove this short so let's assume that you predict that okay this coin is actually going down so use the short position then place it here so let's say this is your stop loss okay and this is your take profit all the way down here is your take profit so this line this line here is your entry this is your stop loss you can see that and this is your okay let me just move this a bit so as i said earlier this is your entry stop loss take profit okay so you can see that this time around the red region is what is red is at the top and the green region which is your profit area is facing down and this is facing up okay so that's how you use the position tool you have the green area and the red area that is how it works very very simple so the next one is trend line you know when you're doing analysis when you learn an an analysis yes trend line is very very important you want to capture from one region to another region so this is it let's look at it so here I want to capture from here now drag all the way to this place you see so that's how to use your trend line can you see it that's how to use your trend line yes you can direct it anyhow you want you can see so my friend line is like this but if you yours might not be looking like this so you can change the features okay so i made the my dotted it, yours also doesn't have to be dotted you can see it you can make it line it's up to you but because i already have lines on my screen that's why i have to make that trend line dotted okay so that's for me yours might be different so you can make it more um the pixel to be more bigger you see that there but mine is one pixel i want it very tiny and smart and you can also change the color if you want it's up to you okay yep so actually uh, the reason why i did that is because i want you to know that this my trend line is customized based on what i want that's it so here that's for trend line then let me spot a particular trend yes so here we want to use this parallel channel this guy here this two here you see yes so let's look at it let me remove this so let's click on the parallel channel so i've clicked on it so i'll come here i will grab it here i will now drag i will drag all the way you see now after dragging i will tap the screen you see that it has shown red i will now drag you see that you see yes you can see this is how the um tool looks like this is how it works so you can work for both end this end or this end it all depends on your analysis so you can see the breakout around here you can see the breakout yes so that's exactly how this tool works so parallel channel so if you learn candle formation you will um you will learn horizontal channel ascending and descending channel so this is more or less like a descending channel ascending channel is when it's facing up so let me show you let me show you let's remove this let's use another one so you come to the lower region here now drag you see 
now move move it anywhere you want so this is an ascending channel you can see it's ascending so from the first line that you drew will determine the direction very easy you can practice this it's very very nice you will really love using all these tools so um this, those are the tools i use i will have gone on and on and on to for you to see different tools then i'm also going to have a video on fibonacci so you know how to use the fibonacci tool so it all depends on what you want okay all these preferences is based on what so you can customize all these things based on what you want it's very very easy okay so those are the tools and you still, you still have a lot of tools you see i can't go through everything but on your own you can explore you get you can explore all these things depending on how you want it okay very very simple and easy but if you have more questions just drop it in the comment section let me know if we still need to um, have some specialized topics okay so the next one will be so we've done chat navigation and tools and then the next one will now be using indicators let's click on this um, plus so we have indicators okay we have favorite technical finance and likes so here when you have any indicator you want to use just type the name of the indicator okay and after typing the name of the indicator you can make the indicator to um to join your favorite list so that's why we have this favorite Okay, this place so that's it so you can see these are I have a lot of them on my um, on my list so let's search let's say volume indicator just type on volume now this video is not about indicators the video is about just teaching you how to make use of it now every indicator has how is being used so you already see that this yellow star means i already have this indicator on my list you can see it this indicator here i already have them on my list that's why okay so anyone you don't have on your list will not show the yellow star it will just be gray like this okay so that's just the way so there are other indicators that we can use so what I, what I used to do is this whenever i spot any indicator that i want to use instantly when i spot that indicator i'll just make it to join my favorite so that i can go and check so that subsequently i can use the indicator and you can see the full list of though i'm not an indicator trader but there are some very interesting indicators that are very good but the reason why i don't use it is because indicators are always lagging so i use price action fully full price action but if you find a moving average um rsi if you want to find them very very um useful definitely you can use it okay so here if you come to my favorite you can see all the indicators that i have here yeah you can see them a lot of indicators that are here so these are the ones i use right mm -hmm. so when you place let's say let's place an indicator on our screen let's use exponential moving average so i've clicked on it since i've clicked on it is already on my screen can you see it let me zoom for you well yeah can you see that green that green line okay so for me to change the settings i need to click i need to zoom see the way i'm zooming yes you see the way i'm zooming this okay so i'll just click on this i'll click on it so i've selected it so you can see the um, settings i'll just come to the settings here so hold on let me show you where so when i selected the indicator so this frame came out can you see it so i can cancel the i can close the indicator i close it i can hide it then i can also check the settings 
to that I work. So settings. Now your indicators has which length do you want? Let's say we want two hundred moving average two hundred. Yes. So it will change. You can see it. it has already changed direction. You see where it is now. You can see it. So that's exactly how indicator works. That's how indicator works. So when I select it, then I'll cancel it here. Okay. So you can use as many indicators as you want to use. Then another thing I quickly need to mention is um, your candles, how to control your candles. You can see that you can zoom, you can do like this. So when you, sometimes you just see everything, just be looking very, something you don't even understand, right? So on the price area here, this price, you can use it to adjust the screen so that your candle can give you the shape that you want. You can also use the time here so adjust the screen okay so it will give you the shape that you really want but you have to be the one that will control it the way you want so let's see you can see the way it looks now so on this edge can you see that this price area here i will just drag it up 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 it will keep coming up up okay so if that's what i want that's fine now that's the how to increase the height of the candle then all, all of the body here can you see it? This this area here. Can you see it? Just move it. You can make it bigger. Can you see? You can make it taller. You can see. Look at the candle clearly. Now that is zoom. So I can place my two fingers on the screen. Then it will be able to zoom. Can you see that? Yes, to be able to zoom. So that's it. That's how it works. So you have to be able to control your candles very very well. Yeah. So that's for that. So the next one we have on our list will be demo trading. Yes, that won't take us much time. So here for demo trading, we have just come here. So we have connect to broker. You see, connect broker. So click on it. Now here you can see paper trading. Paper trading. So that's all you need. But if you have uh, most um, exchanges with cryptocurrency, you are not connected to any broker. So don't stress yourself. Just click on this paper trading here. That's all. Click on it. So connect. That's all. So immediately you do that, you will see this red and blue box here. So those are the... If you want to go short, click on the red. If you want to go long click on the blue so that's how it works so now let's assume that okay i want to go long i'll, do, I'll just click on this blue okay so here how many units i want to buy at market price how many units of that coin do i want to buy we want to buy 100 well before that before that let me quickly show you something so um trading view is going to give us hundred thousand worth of so by default trading view will give us hundred thousand worth of um virtual money okay so click on the menu come to paper trading then here uh, click on this arrow here this arrow okay click on the arrow then reset paper trading we'll click here can you see it balance hundred thousand dollars okay so click on reset see everything has changed so you can come reset it anytime you like anyhow you want so it's up, it's up to you so this amount you have to trade with but it's paper trading it's not real money okay so cancel so you want to go long you want to go short so that's how you go about it so here just under unit take profit so for you to go on your paper trading make sure that you already have your position here so you already know your stop loss this is your stop loss here and this is your take profit this is your take profit here okay so identify the um price that you want to take profit so this is our take profit this is our stop loss okay 
then our entry is current price now for you to go for your paper trading so click on the blue button so for market price yeah click on this click on this list tick or ticket so you enter your take profit here then also tick on your stop loss you enter your stop loss here can you see that okay so select it then you enter the amount stop loss enter the amount take profit so when you get there it will take profit for you but the quantity you are buying will determine the amount of usdt that you are trading with so that's how paper trading works so when you are done with that just select buy xrp okay then to start trading for you that's how paper trading works yes so we're going to the end of this video so it's though it is a big lengthy but at least i believe you guys understand almost everything we talked about and if you have any question don't hesitate to drop in the comment section or message me on my telegram all right then i will reply you don't forget we always have our daily meetings 11 a.m nigerian time on telegram join us i will be expecting you to come and ask your questions and believe me all your questions will be answered as much as we understand what trading is all about and don't also forget that we have three different classes that you can join okay but two are paid and one is free beginner's class is not is not free it's paid advanced class is free every we come online every day then the master class is also paid that's just the way it is yeah so we'll be expecting you to join us we'll be glad to see you around all the time thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'll be very very glad if you do that also like this video so it will go viral for more people to learn on how to use trading view then i'll be glad and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much